excited to be here with my friend Jen from And Hattie Makes Three. And no, Jen today. <laughs> and Jen today is gonna show us the most amazing way to do Easter eggs. You guys ready? Yeah! Awesome. So you guys are used to probably seeing the box kit at the store. Um, and you actually dyed the shell of the egg, but we thought we'd take it up a notch this year and actually dye the egg white instead of the shell. So, and then you can eat the pretty colors, which is a whole lot more fun. Okay, so um, dyeing eggs at home could not be any easier. So all you need from your pantry is white vinegar, which you probably shouldn't have in your pantry. Yeah, everybody has. Hard boiled with eggs. Um, you'll, you can buy them hard boiled, you can make them yourself, whatever. <laughs> um, and then also natural food dye. So you can find this in the baking section um, at the grocery store or any store. Um, and then um, I like to buy just disposable cups from the dollar store to throw them away because I don't want to mess with dye later. Um, because we're dyeing the actual egg white and not the shell, you do want to use a natural food dye. Yes, and so I know I've had people ask in the past, does it taste like vinegar after you soak it in the egg white? The answer is no. You can certainly rinse yeah. them off if you feel kind of funky about that, but really for making your own dye at home, you want to follow um, about a quarter cup of water to about two tablespoons of white vinegar and then about well, 10 drops of your favorite food yeah. coloring in oh, your different yeah. cups. Everybody here, here. get a well, color. I'll make you one. I'll make you one. Just so yes. fun. Very gently. <laughs> gentle. Gentle. There you go. That's I can do it that gentle. Gentle. Thank you. Oh, look at that. That's not gentle. So it's been about 10 minutes and it looks like we are ready to pull our eggs out. Um, and it's really kind of up to you in terms of how bright you're wanting your eggs to look. So, what, Julie, you want to help me pull those out? Mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh, okay, so we've got yellow. I actually think these I look a lot more like vibrant color. than like buying the actual eggs. So the blue one, you could probably put a little I more color it. in if you wanted to make it a little bit more brighter. But this is um, like a pretty like Robin's egg blue. I think it looks really pretty. If you want to up your Easter game this year, you can actually do this exact same process and make deviled Easter eggs. And so you can check all that out on my blog. There are directions on how to do all of that and how to make the filling. But really from this point, if you're wanting to do something like that, just take your eggs, cut them in half and scoop out your yolks and save those for later. And then dye your whole egg um, the way that you want to do it. Um, and then you'll have your entire Easter egg completely covered. They're so pretty. I so, wish I would have made these for um, St. Patrick's Day. That would have been perfect. Thank you so much for watching. This was so much fun. Jen, thank you so much sure, for coming thanks on. thanks for having us. This was great. If you're not following Jen at and Hattie Makes 3, you need to be. She has so many good ideas and gorgeous pictures. Hattie, thanks for coming Let's on today. Bye.